I'm The Voice, and this is a Divi community-produced video from the foundation. Um, we also have the the having coming up. I mean, literally in the, what, three days? Two, two three days. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. it's yeah. literally. So people are excited. Right around the corner. I'm, I'm excited. I just, I'm excited only because it's like, you know, it's another milestone that we're passing. Like, it's like, this is the fourth one, I think. And, yeah, yeah. And uh, yay, Bitcoin's lasted this long. And we'll get, I mean, and there's nothing stopping it. I mean, nothing it's amazing. Stopping it. I think it's I, awesome. Yeah, I think the, the funniest thing is, is, and I know you guys have read some of the articles, but uh, there was an article, and it could have been a hoax, but uh, from what I read, it looked pretty real. But even in some media in Europe, the understanding of what it actually means to have a halving, um, I, we've heard, I, I've read things, again, you have to d discern yeah, the Yeah, I saw one too. <laughs> yeah, that the Bitcoin supply is going to be worth double, which is a strange thing to hear. And and in other cases, I think we've seen and heard, and you guys have, may have seen some, but somebody said they were going to burn half the supply. Oh, um, yeah. I've seen all sorts of things that are almost entirely comical, and they're coming from news media. These are supposed to be the experts. And they're coming from what some people would title influencers. Uh, maybe that's a, a comical term for some who would profess to being in crypto and actually say they're going to burn half the supply unless they've been into uh, fiat type tokens where they just mint stuff automatically. But yeah, that's just yeah, cool. it's saw, comical. My the one I saw was an influencer, and it's one of the dude in a car or woman in a car you know that that kind of trope for mm -hmm. talking to you on youtube or whatever TikTok. but it's a dude in the car and he was just like it's great they're good they're gonna take or they're gonna get rid of you know half the bitcoin and half the bit i'm sitting there like like I, I, how would you even do it <laughs> like, who's yeah. doing that <laughs> you want to give up half your bitcoin I mean, <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. I mean, people yeah. people don't know. I think the the biggest yeah. thing is is that they're talking about it. They're talking about it. They're talking about yeah. it, and you have a lot of speculation. And everybody, and every time, I might say, the, because I've been in crypto for a while, as I know you have, Rob. Every time this happens, everybody thinks, well, the miners get half, therefore it's going to pump the price up. And right. I think historically. If we just go back over coin market cap historically, that just does not happen. It 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 does affect long term, um, yeah. but in the short term, no. And in fact, I think over the last one or two, and and I didn't read up before I got on this, but I as I recall from memory, it was exactly the opposite. We see a drop, yeah. a drop. But, yeah, I looked yeah. at I uh, actually because I was in a conversation with somebody today on this, mm -hmm. so I looked at the last three. One yeah. of them dropped, one of them rose, uh, one of them actually rose faster and sooner. Mm -hmm. um, and, but all of them, like almost nothing happened the day of. And so the one that dropped and then started rising, that took a couple of months. And the one that stayed about the same and then started rising, that was almost four or five months. So like right. yeah. having doesn't do Up something. Up to 11 months for, I yeah. think, the last, last cycle. Right to the peak, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. to the peak. Yeah, exactly. Um, so the the having itself doesn't do something. There, there's some mechanics that probably smarter people than me understand that cause that delay. It's happened every time. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't happen this time. But uh, yeah, the expectation that all of a sudden it's going to be awesome. Um, I mean, it's going to be awesome, but not all of a sudden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I think we're all speculating that it will be. Yeah. Right. So the thing is that there is some truth to that. There is that part where we can see historically, exactly like you mentioned, Rob, there seems to be a timing where after the halving, and it's not directly after, but there seems to be some impact on that. And we can talk about why, right? Because the reality is to be able to generate a block for Bitcoin, you're still using the same energy. And now yeah. all of a sudden you get rewarded half to generate your Bitcoin. And so if now Bitcoin is supposedly twice more expensive than it was before because of the halving, right? So this is what is pushing the speculation behind it. Yeah.